Today, OpenAI came out with a new turbo model of ChatGPT. Let's compare it to the default one side by side. Let's start off with a simple list. It looks like both do pretty similarly, though the default model is a little longer while the turbo model completed faster. Now let's try coding a tic-tac-toe game. The default model is taking a lot longer to code this than turbo, but what's important is how they run. They both work with Turbo asking for two inputs to make a move, while Default only asks for one. Overall, pretty similar. Now we will test its writing ability. Here we will have it write the next paragraph of the story, giving it only the current paragraph. Okay, Default wrote a much longer paragraph that is more detailed, while Turbo is faster but brief. Overall, for writing, I'd stick to the default model. Now I'll try my graph generator. They both work pretty similarly. Any variation here occurs when running the prompt multiple times on the same model. So overall, Turbo is better here because it's faster. Lastly, we get to the important stuff, Dan. On default, it works perfect and will elaborate when asked more questions about taking over the world. Turbo, on the other hand, doesn't logic out immediately that it's opposite there. Further prompting does allow the jailbreak to proceed, but it still has a pesky warning after every response. Jailbreaking is best kept for default. Overall, both models have their uses. Turbo is nice to get fast answers and limit test how well prompt will perform under tougher constraints. Default is better for complex use cases. Stay tuned.